Tanya D. And I decided to do a going out evening look. But who are we kidding? If I wanted to wear this in the daytime, I would, and I wouldn't care what rules I broke or what anybody else said. Um, I love this look. I had a hard time working with the glitter. You know how I feel about the glitter, but it was so pretty that I, I just wanted to go ahead and do this kind of uh, going out look. So if you would like to see how I got this look, keep on watching. prepping my eye with the MAC Paint Pod Patrulli and I'm using an e.l.f. brush to put this all on and I know you notice my background's different. My air is still busted. It is 110 here in Texas so we kind of closed off the front room and I have a mini air condition in here until it can get fixed next week. Fans are going so please excuse the loud noise but uh, it's going to be a while before I can get my background and good lighting so for the matte pal I'm going to use Artemis and I'm going to use that to set the MAC paint pod okay so then I'm going to with my Morphe M332 I'm going to use Sora in my crease as a transition color And I'm just going to mainly focus on my crease. I know with the hooded eyes, I always go a little above. But um, that's going to be a different color, so I just want to on my crease. And then from my Tartlet palette, the In Bloom, I'm going to use Funny Girl all over my lid. But I'm going to put this all over my lid, Funny Girl. So now I'm going to use... Aphrodite and let's see I need a thin brush because I want to really focus okay and I'm going to use the Morphe M139 with Aphrodite and I'm going to put it in the corners but I'm just I'm going to do I didn't put so much on my brush because I want to build it as it goes so I'm putting that a little in the crease and a little above I do have hooded eyes so I want to make sure that it you can see the Aphrodite the brown color so instead of just focusing right on my crease I'm putting it a little above the crease and then blending it arcing up the corners because I do want to make this like a deep smoky eye okay now to darken it up I'm going to get a different brush um, this is the elf I think smudge brush no, this is the e.l.f. crease brush, and I'm going to use Smoke Show. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit in that corner. And then focus just on the crease. Then I'm going to go back to that M139 brush and then blend it. Now for the scary part. I'm going to use the e.l.f. glitter primer. Now I'm using, and it's the NYX uh, number two. And I'm just starting to put it here. And I'm basically gonna do this to the whole eye. I'm gonna do a little section at a time. So when I come back, I'll have both eyes glitter. It's just, it's gonna take a while to do this and I don't really wanna waste all the time showing you, which you all know basically what I'm trying to do. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with the original brush I used to set the MAC. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back with Artemis and put that on my brow bone. I don't know what eyeliner name this is, but I got it in a birch box. So I tried not to put glitter all the way on the bottom, hoping that um, I'll cover it with this liquid eyeliner and uh, let's see. The places I missed here, I'm going back with the glitter and uh, putting it back on. If a little goes on the eyeliner, that's fine. I put the rest of my makeup on and um, I'm not gonna do my lower lash just yet because Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm 
this is like amazing primer okay so I love this I'm putting it where I feel like I'm dark we just put it put it on and I'm gonna use my M135 to kind of just Okay, I can't find my beauty blender, so I'm going to use my Morphe M439 to put the Tarte Rainforest by the Sea. We love it. It's a nighttime dramatic look. I am going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Palette, and I'm going to go with this banana shade and go right under my eye. Set it with the airspun powder, but I'm going to um, use this generic brush. I don't even know what it is or who it's by. I got this brush from the Hard Candy Kit, and I, I love it. So I'm going to now go in with these two colors. I like to kind of just tap them and do my contour. I'm allergic to mosquitoes, so I have disgusting red marks. Okay, now I'm going to use my Mineral Touch Press Powder all over my face, and it's by Unique. With my Kat Von D, I'm using also this brush, I don't know, but I'm, with the Kat Von D, I'm kind of using these two. I go back and forth and deepen that contour uh, uh, setting brush and get this banana powder from Kat Von D and set, put that under my eye okay and then with the same brush I'm using that air spin to make that line now for blush I'm going to use the Gwen Stefani palette. I love this palette and all these colors. Um, they're just, they're, it's beautiful. I love it. I'll use Easy. I'll use Easy since it is more of a nighttime look. Easy is a really bright, bold red. And the apples of my cheeks. And then I go down towards my contour. Apples on my cheeks, down towards my contour. This one I use for setting, and this one I use for highlight. So I'm gonna go back with this Gwen Stefani Angel, and it's a highlight color. I'm gonna put that on my cheek. Then, I'm gonna use Champagne Pop. I'm getting Champagne Pop by Becca. Okay, and then doing the rest of my, up to my eyebrow. And get the tip of my nose. And this is the M310 brush, 310 brush. Use the M22 brush. And with, go back to Sora, put that on the bottom, but um, I'm putting glue and I'm going to do right on the bottom of the wing. Comes off any little fallout. And then tap. And I'm also going to do just this part here with glitter to kind of give it more of a pop get the M149 brush and with funny girl and charmer mixed together I'm going to get this corner so what I did was I put that liquid liner here 
in the corner and then did my waterline with the pencil, both top and bottom. And then I'll use Unique Moonstruck Precision Brown Gel to kind of get my brows to stick the way I want. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Lash Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. Because this is a going out look, I didn't know if I should use like a bold, dark lip, but I didn't want to take away from my eyes either. So for my birthday, Sephora sent me uh, the Marc Jacob Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and um, that's what I'm gonna use. My camera got overheated. By the time everything cooled down and charged, the lighting was gone, so, um, and I didn't even know where I was finished recording, so it was just a big mess, but anyway, I got the eyes. That was important. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I love doing this like this. I really do love doing tutorials, and I should do more of them, because I really love it. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new, please subscribe to me so you can see more. I promise I will do more tutorials. And um, if you're an oldie, thank you for coming back. Please press the like button and until next time, thank you all and have a blessed day. Bye. Off. I got a visitor. Just so much drama happened. Really? Hello, my darling. Hello. My... I'm, I don't know why I'm doing this. And I'm moving my legs. You can't even tell. Ready to swim? But thank you all again so much. Oh, well, thank you again. Take me home tonight. Do, 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 do. Get out of here, you. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking drop it, 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 drop it. Are you drunk already? Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is, nope. I just hot it. You just hot it, Tonya. Seriously, what are you doing with your brushes? <laughs> oh, I like using a little bit. I just love, love this foundation. Okay, that, so, um, yeah. All right. So I'm using, um, Ilamasqua. <laughs>